This is Athens Politics Nerd, keeping you up to date on the important local news. I've got a bonus video today, an update on what happened at the special called session on September 10th. If you watched my last one, you know that the commission could not agree on their list of requests to the state legislature. Their list this year included some apparently controversial things, like mandatory gun registration and driver's licenses for undocumented residents. The commission couldn't come to an agreement at their normal voting meeting, so they decided to push the decision back a week. That gave the public another chance to comment on these hot-button issues. And oh my, did we get some good comments. I would like to go on the record tonight and uh, commend uh, Commissioner Denson. Your proposition has done more to ignite the Republican Party in Clark County than anything we've been able to do. The thing that enrages Republicans the most is being welcoming to immigrants. Think about that. But this is great news. As progressives, we're not doing things right if we don't make some people mad in the process, especially racists. I'm not going to register my guns. And I think that it is so hard for the ordinary conservative citizens in this town to work with most of you, not all of you, because all of you are not liberals. But some of you are, are conservatives or try to go that way. I couldn't have said it better myself. But of course, all of the sitting commissioners are Democrats. I know some of them have fundraised for Republicans in the past, but I mean, they're all definitely Democrats. Jerry, we were happy to see you at the Republican Party meeting last night. And one day I woke up and said, I have no way to protect my grandchildren should someone burst in here unlawfully, criminally. I have no way to fight, no way to protect myself. I find that unreasonable and amazingly and alarmingly unacceptable for anyone. I think about in the Roman days in the Colosseum, do you know what they did to those people that they brought to the, to the uh, people who were against the government, what they brought into the Colosseum? They made them defenseless and brought in lions and all that. They couldn't fight. They could not win. Gun control is like Roman slaves being fed to the lions. It all makes sense to me now. This gun notation here is unbelievable to me. I went to a gun range to practice and I burst into tears. I burst into tears because I was aware of the power, the power behind that weapon that I had in my hand. Wow. Um, I would challenge this commission to factually do some research and find out how many gun deaths have been prevented or mass shootings have been prevented by these measures. I would say that probably very few, if none, Someone making an evidence-based argument. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Okay, so maybe she just isn't aware of the example of Australia. That country passed a strong gun control law, including mandatory registration in 1996, and mass shootings dropped from 13 in the 18 years before to just one after. Gun homicides dropped by 59% and suicides by 65%. So, I'll assume that your mind is now changed and we can carry on with this video. I think that the people that are not responsible, they're, they're not going to get gun permits, they're not going to get training, they're not going to be responsible. So, matter, so no matter what you all do, it's not going to work as far as like keeping the, the guns out of bad guys' hands. She's right. Why pass any law when criminals will just ignore it? Why do we even have laws anyway? I am concerned that like if somebody kicks in my door, what am I going to do if I don't have a gun, if I don't have some kind of protection? I don't have any way to protect myself. What do, you all, what do you all expect me to do? I would like to hear what you have to say about that. Sarcasm aside, it's true that we are all fragile creatures. We're all vulnerable. In all seriousness, I recommend thoughts and prayers. I recommend that you pray on it and talk about your worries with a loved one, a priest, or a counselor. I'm focusing on the right-wing comments, but I don't want to give the wrong impression. Many people at this meeting spoke in support of gun control and of driver's licenses for the undocumented. We're not setting policy by this. 
We're not writing ordinances by this. We are asking our state delegation to consider this. And I think you can pick out the ones that they will and won't consider. So why is Commissioner Neesmith smirking at the idea that the body he sits on might be ignored? This comes after he continued to refuse to allow mandatory gun registration on the list of requests. On the other hand, he was okay with the idea of banning assault weapons, so that was added and the final gun control item looked like this. Commissioner Parker then addressed the request to allow undocumented residents the ability to apply for driver's licenses, and she gets the APN Best Comment Award for the night for her remarks. Weeks ago, mere weeks ago, we looked folks in the eyes as they walked up to this podium and tearfully testified to us the fear that they experience every single day doing simple things like taking their kids to PTA meetings, uh, driving to church on a Sunday morning, and we, we promised them that we were going to protect them. We promised them that we were going to do what was needed to do to make sure they feel safe in our community. And I want to make sure that tonight we hold good to that promise by actually taking making good on um, an ask they made of us, a plea they made of us to ensure that they get driver's licenses so they can operate in society as productive and hardworking individuals that they are. I was really asking everyone tonight to remember them, um, remember those looks on their faces as they tried not to cry as they told us about their experiences, and know that they're actually counting on you. And I believe that you all can do the right thing. Commissioner Wright backed down and allowed the four items that she had previously taken off back on the agenda. But don't be misled. She was clear that she did not support these items and was allowing them back on only so other commissioners could make the request. If she felt more freedom to vote as she saw fit, these items would not have stayed on. The final vote on these items was unanimous. Yes, zero, no. Later that day, the commission met with our state legislators and passed along the requests which were promptly ignored. There are a lot of things you've talked about that are changes to state law that aren't specific to uh, Athens. And so I'm taking that as, as constituent feedback of your opinions. And we all know how much Senator Kauser cares about constituent feedback. Your opinions. I'm sure he'll get right on these items. As I'm reading this list, there are no local legislation requests for us here that's a specific uh, to this community that, that we could pass. Well, that was fun. See you on the next one. Um, oh yeah, remember to like and subscribe and stuff. <laughs>